Okay, so now I'm going to have a go at the first uh, exercise in lesson 15 on Codility. Uh, the lesson is called Caterpillar Method and the exercise is called Abs Distinct. Let's get straight into that. Okay, a non-empty array A consisting of N numbers is given. The array is sorted in non-decreasing order. The absolute distinct count of this array is the number of distinct absolute values among the elements of the array. For example, consider this array. The absolute distinct count of the array is five because there are five distinct absolute values amongst the elements, namely 0, 1, 3, 5, and 6. 0, 1, 3, which we have twice, 5, and 6. Write a function that given a non-empty array A consisting of n numbers returns absolute distinct count of the array. So in that example we should return 5. Okay, that's reasonably straightforward. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n, which is the size of the array, is an integer within the range of 1 and 100,000. And each element of the array A is an integer in the range of, I think that's integer min value and integer max value. Array A is sorted in non-decreasing order. Okay, so let's make a start. I'll just uh, prepare the class with the example in the exercise. Okay, so that's the class prepared with the example in the exercise. Now, I've got a couple of thoughts about this. Now, it's in the exercise or in the lesson about called Caterpillar Method, and I think that that is, we're supposed to kind of simulate a caterpillar moving with the front and back, and the fact that they're in non-descending order. I'm not sure why they didn't just say ascending order. But the, the fact that the numbers are going from the smallest to the largest probably means that we're, they're intending for us to use the caterpillar method to crawl through maybe from the start and end and gradually come back. But I think that I'm just going to go for the simple solution and just have a hash set and put values in the hash set if I've not seen the value before. Um, increment a counter and that will mean just one scan through the array just counter value if I've not seen it before the absolute value absolute of course meaning that minus 5 the absolute value is 5 minus 3 the absolute value is 3 um, but uh, the, val the range of values is from integer min value to integer max value. And of course, with two complement binary, the minimum value is one more than the maximum value. So if I just do math abs on this value, it's not going to fit into an integer. So I think I need to make the hash set of, of the type long. And then I just scan through the array. If I've not seen the absolute value, count one and add it to the list. If I have seen it, do nothing. I think it's as simple as that. So, um, so hash set distinct values. This new hash set and I'm going to make the hash set of type long and then just scan through the array into A in A if distinct values contains the long actually math abs 
we'll return what we give it, I think. Yeah, it will return along if we give it along. So if distinct values contains the absolute value absolute um, value of a then we do nothing but if it doesn't contain it we add it and count one so we start count off at zero if we haven't seen the absolute value, we add one. If we have, we do nothing. And return count. I think that's as simple as that. Um, like I said, I think with it being in the Caterpillar method, they're probably expecting some cleverer solution. If you know a cleverer solution, perhaps you could explain it in the comments, but I think I'm just going to go for that. And the answer is five. Um, I'll just check corner cases, nothing's going to trip it up. So we're going to scan through the array once, um, 100,000 values. Using the hash set, of course, is a very efficient way of checking. Um, we, we don't have to loop through the hash set to see if the value is already in there. We'll just know straight away based on the hash. So we're only looping through the, the array once. Each element is an integer within this range. The fact that I've cast to a long means that's okay. We're not going to overflow the integer because of course the absolute value of that does not fit into an integer. And array A is sorted in non-decreasing order. I don't see why that matters. Um, except that they probably want us to do some sort of caterpillar method on it. But I think that that's it. I think that's pretty straightforward. And I'm going to submit that and see if it works. I think that's one of the easier ones. If you know, if you think to use a hash set, if it passes that is run the tests and submit it and 100 percent so that was um fairly straightforward using using the hash set there so that's my solution to codility's apps distinct thanks for watching